Beth, you guys are one of the top volleyball teams, no doubt about it, in the state of Indiana. But I want to ask you about last year. I know that had been tough on all of you guys and the way it ended. How have you used that as motivation for this year? I think that we know what it's like to be put in a situation where we can't lose now, whereas we were playing easier teams. We didn't know what it was like to have an actual fight and a battle. So now we do, and we know how to fight. When, when the season ended, what was going through your mind? Was it, we got to get back in the gym, we got to get in the weight room, we got to get better? Was, or what was going through your mind specifically? Um, I was thinking that we needed to strengthen our mentality because before that game that we lost in semi-state, everything was a breeze. We didn't have to worry about, oh, we might lose this game. I mean, we kind of knew that we would win no matter what, if, even if we dropped a set, but we needed to strengthen our mentality. Do you, do you think you guys have done that now? Absolutely, yeah. I think we're more confident. All right, then tell me, how did you guys do it? Where did that come from? Because it's not something that comes naturally to everybody. Right. We talk to each other more. We help. We Constructive criticism is, has been very helpful this season, and everyone knows how to take it. No one gets offended. We know how to talk to each other and get the, get the job done. You know, that's big. I mean, bottom line is a lot of people and players don't take that criticism very well. That has to be a huge step for you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Especially with a bunch of underclassmen, you never know how they're going to take it, and you never know how upperclassmen are going to take it, but we work with each other well. You lost some key players from last year. How have you replaced those, and had the replacements been maybe not this early in the season where they need to be, but are they going to be by the end of the year? Yeah, for sure. We've really been working with our back right, Cameron, and then Lacey took over the libero spot, so she's definitely stepping it up, and she know, they know what needs to be done for us to win. All right. I've asked the other girls about the target on the back now because you guys have had the success. This program has a certain expectation now. How do you guys handle that pressure that every time you play somebody, they want to beat you? Um, I don't really know. We kind of just go out there and have fun, honestly. We don't really think about, oh, we can't lose. I mean, we just think about winning. If you think about losing, you're going to lose probably. So you don't mind the pressure too much? It didn't bother you at all? No, not at all. I bet it is. Well, you know what? I know a team that's going to play here pretty soon, Wapahani. Yeah. Talk a little bit about what that matchup means. And, and certainly, if you win a match like that, it not only puts you guys on the map, but maybe in the driver's seat a little bit. Right. So we won against them two years ago, and then obviously we lost last year. But I think that we just have a new mentality. Like I said, like we strengthen our mentality that we know how to fight. And it's not, oh, goodness, Wapahani, what are we going to do? It's we can fight with them. We can compete with them.